King Carlemagne presents oven fried chicken wings. Now, how did we achieve this amazing feat of culinary inspiration? Basically, you take a lasagna pan, you throw the wings in, all right? Make sure there's no loose bone pieces, which you'd have to take off. Uh, clean under the skin, wash them, make sure there's nothing else on your chicken uh, that you grab from the store. And basically, um, you put it in with some water. And I put it on up to 450, 450 degrees Fahrenheit, not Celsius. That's going to burn your face off. So maybe even wear glasses when you open the oven. That's not a bad idea, actually. Uh, wear some sunglasses. Not because it's bright, but because it's hot. And you're going to burn your eyes. But uh, this pan is hot. This chicken is hot. Now, I left it till the top was done, and then I flipped it over. But why isn't everything burnt, which it normally would be when you're cooking that good? Water, I put in more water than you'd think um, in this lasagna pan, probably filled to where you can see on the side there where it's kind of bubbled and burnt. That's kind of where the water was a little bit. Uh, I would have to say a quarter of an inch at least. A quarter of an inch at least, which is like th two, three centimeters or something. Um, better to have more than less because you want your chicken nice and done like this. Nice. If we can get this up to the camera, like what's, what, what, what is the, what does the chef got to do around here? Then, if we can, oh, they just, they don't want to move, but now that they're flipped, they were like almost burning on top, but now that they flipped into the water and then the water dissolved and the chicken fat kind of got all over it, they're going to be like really juicy and tender. You know, I've used this pan a couple times, so it has some marks that aren't coming off anytime today. And, uh, ya -da -da -da, ya -da -da -da, that's dancing with chicken wings, because otherwise, you get into big trouble with, um, burning, uh, and then the inside's kind of like raw and stuff, which is terrible. It's absolutely terrible. So, this is what you want. This is called a good time. I would say they're finished. Anything more than that is too much. And uh, not burnt. Not burnt and well cooked. Which as a cook is basically all you can ask for. Okay. So the recipe for baked chicken wings. Didn't have to put any uh, nothings on them. No flour, no nothing. I mean you can do that. But then you can't really do the trick with the water in the pan. So I put it on 450. How long was it? until the tops were like almost about to burn and then I flipped it and there was still like half the water and that water by the time the water was finished almost finished you uh, you know turn off the oven and uh, just let it just let it uh, cool down you know you don't have to take it out when it's super hot do not take it out when it's super hot that's a ridiculous idea you want to stop the oven early Hey, that works for other things in cooking too. So you just stop the oven early. It's 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 pretty much done. You might want to make sure, but I know for sure that that's finished. And I know it looks whack with a with a greasy nasty pan, but this is finished and this chicken is primo. So I'm proud to show off this kind of nasty pan. If I plate this, it'd be a lot better. But that's finished. That is finished chicken. If we could just get like a the zoom, the auto zoom on this camera this real webcam this is the best this is the best webcam you can get and this is the best chicken you can cook with water so it's super super healthy really any kind of oil is kind of like stuck to the pan but it should still be easy to clean so that's it king carl made making chicken bro
as an addendum, this is King Carlemagne's chili chicken, all right? Cooked at the same time so we can save. We can save time here, all right? But we need the chicken protein. What's happening? What's what's happened here? Okay, what's happened? You have tomato, red bell pepper, red bell pepper, okay? Tomato, red bell pepper, and I had some crazy pack of like pre-cut onions, uh, like, you know, the long skinny green ones, carrots, and something else. Everything was on sale. The chicken was on sale at the store uh, because they had, a, you know, the, the, the special. It wasn't like expiring. Uh, it's better to get the special than like expired chicken. That's, that's weak. Although the drumsticks that you just saw were on special because they needed to get rid of those. I, so I'm saving all over the place, but you know, those, those, those are still good. Those, those are, those are primo no matter what. They, they don't mess around with the, with the expiry date on the chicken. So the chicken breast, however, on sale, everything in here on sale. But what did I do? I put some water. I put the spices, cardamom, curry, but no, to make a curry, you know, you got cardamom, paprika, lots of paprika, mm, turmeric, all the usual suspects, salt, black pepper, a little olive oil, a lot of water, not a lot, but more than you think. And the, and it boiled down, it boiled down. There's still some liquid here, but I've been boiling this for a long time. And just decided to throw two chicken breasts in pretty big size towards the end. So at the beginning, this whole pot was filled with vegetables and water maybe up to here. Okay, turning everything constantly so that nothing sticks. How, when do you turn? How much is too much turning? Um, if something is sticking to the bottom, you did not turn it enough, okay? That's pretty much the calculus of the cooking. If something sticks to the bottom, you did not turn enough and you done messed up. So keep turning. I threw two chickens in there. Uh, as soon as they were a little bit cooked on the outside, I used a knife to, to slice those so that it's gonna cook real easily. And then I let it simmer for like a long time. When I, when I uh, thought it was starting to stick, because it was kind of sticking at the bottom, I turned it down to one. So it's still hot, and one is going to keep it boiling and boiling and boiling. And uh, from there, you know, guy, it's just like, the chicken's got to be done, and there's no two ways about it. So let's give it a Jamie Oliver taste test. Mmm. Mmm. You know, you come home from the bar, and it's like... 5.20 in the morning, you want to whip some some chicken? No, it's not like that, bro. I, I cooked this for a little while, bro. Mm. I didn't mean to be rude. I didn't mean to be rude. I show myself eating. But, wow, dude. It's not bad. It's not bad. What else, what, what else could it be? It's good stuff. A little spicy, bro. A little spicy. It shouldn't be spicy like that. But, you know... King Carlemagne, doing it up, doing it well, doing it again.